let's all go to court. Welcome to Total TMI about Orlando and the Freak Show. Let's play Plead the Fifth. Plead the Fifth. Call or text 888-429-0941 with your questions. Let's go make some law now. Yeah, 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 some law now. I say we go to court. Now, who's taking the stand? Well, walking to the stand very slowly in his throwback cubbies, Rhino Sandberg. Sandberg. I know. <laughs> it's Mark, it's time for Plead the Fifth. You ready, man? I'm ready as I'll ever be. I am nervous today. Why are you nervous? I don't know. The first time, you know, you get your questions, you get through it, it's like, all right, I'm good. But now it's like, where are the questions going to go? Yeah, the audience, the audience is getting to know you a lot more, yeah. so they got different questions they want to ask. Uh, we find different questions. Like, I'm, for instance, I don't know. I'm first on the yes. on the thing because like, we're going clockwise. And I have no idea what I want to ask you. Like I, I have one, I have one question that just popped up from the Donald Trump interview. <laughs> I have that. That whole Stormy Daniels has one thing for me. And then there was one thing you didn't answer that I can't remember when we were like during the week. And you would like ask me during the show. I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. The fact that O's getting his inspiration from the Stormy Daniels <laughs> interview should make you pretty nervous. <laughs> you can only go left from there, right? All right. Okay. So uh, you uh, have eight questions. You have three questions from the room, uh, and you have uh, you have five from the audience, and you have one plead where you could plead the fifth. Okay. So uh, my question is first. Um, okay. You're newly single. Yeah. And uh, being newly single, you've, you know, decided to, you know, go out there and enjoy the lay of the land. Yeah. Um, This is the one that I got actually from the Stormy Daniels story. Being that you're out there and you're accepting applications from, you know, pretty much any type of genre. Sure. You know, you're getting some, you're getting many different demographics, older and younger. Because of the younger side, have you have you been shocked at the performance level of the younger? Like, were you like Donald Trump in that situation <laughs> where you were like, oh my God, like I didn't expect these people to be that good? Or have it or are you just gonna take the ego run of, oh, I'm the man? No. Like, were you shocked by any of these ladies' prowess? Like that they were banging good. You know what has shocked me about women now that I'm single and you're, you know, I've been kind of hanging out with a few, learning a few things here and there. Right. What blows my mind is how aggressive women are these days. More so than when I was like 21 or 22 years old. Um, you know, I think you always, men are the aggressors and we would say the dirty things and go the hard route or whatever. Right. But yo, women now, yes, I am surprised by all of it. And by hooking up with a few of them, dude, they blow my mind. Really? Like, they, oh, for sure. Like, there there are some freaks out there. Like, this is the freak show, Cause like, but there are some freaks out there. And, I'll and, tell you and, that. And I'll tell you that. The reason I ask that is because, like like I said, like, Davi always talks about he's been dating, and so he hasn't experienced, like, technological like Tinder, advancements, yeah. like Tinder or Grinder or whatever. Or what, I mean, not Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> Grinder's the gay one? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ain't hit that one yet, Davi? <laughs> no, I meant Bumble. Okay, yeah, okay. Bumble and... And Tinder or whatever, and it's the same way with like girls who have been all Fifty Shades of grayed up. Uh -huh. Now the girls that you date are like, oh man, they they've watched the movies and they've gotten all comfortable with that. It's funny you say Fifty Shades of Grey because now I'm not going to go too deep into this, but that took place. That movie took place this weekend. Really? I I, I was with somebody. Don't say too much because we got more questions out there. And the they listening. we watched Fifty Shades of Grey uh -huh. and acted it out. I mean, look, bro, You is that your question? Is that number <laughs> no, two? No, that, ain't, that ain't my question. Okay. I mean, should it be? <laughs> I, mean, I think somebody listening right now is going to like... Exactly. I think somebody's going to finish that. Audience members out there, y'all know no. what it is. Go I'll be, ahead. I'm going to be taking the phone call, so I'll be fishing. Right. Uh, okay, Mark, my question is, I've always find, found it kind of funny, like how you like pluck your eyebrows and you're very like conscious. I always see you like fixing your hair, like brushing your teeth, going through this whole little regimen. I want to know about embarrassing personal grooming things like what's the most embarrassing thing something that you wouldn't necessarily like to tell your boys that you do to make yourself look pretty <laughs> <laughs> 
or what? that's something you do or have done. What 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 are you doing now to make yourself marketable out there that you would want us to know? <laughs> Being really open and honest, yeah. there's nothing that I, I can, I'm trying to be real with you. I think I do the same things that you do. Like we was it? I think it was us. We were talking about it the other day with the oh with Meredith on the air and the the manscaping and what yeah, she has to go about, through. Yeah, I mean, I think I do the same thing you guys do. There's I, no way you would let somebody take wax to your taint. No, 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 whoa, 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 no, you know, like, with a razor, like, I've done that, and, like, I do that maintain, really? yeah, like, don't wait, we? But, but, but she was talking about getting down, oh, yeah, I down, mean, was... down, down, like, not just topical. I mean, Like, yeah, we've you... all talked about, like, manscaping and the handling the hedges. Sure. With a razor, But she though? was talking about, like. Well, clippers. You be fresh like a baby's bottom. Well, I yeah. know, like, <laughs> you know, you gotta get him a quick, a quick fade, bro, like, a number one on the side. But there's wow. nothing, I'm not really too embarrassed about it. I think we all do the same thing. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I mean, you know. Are you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Really? But yeah, I, I wanted to hear something. Okay, um, here is the deal. I had to put Meredith's question on my phone because the computer wouldn't uh, wouldn't, <laughs> uh, wouldn't open it up. So I don't know. You guys really had her record a question? Yeah, she, she actually did that on her own. She did it on her own. I have no idea what this question is. Uh, I just... I literally just opened it up just now. So uh, if you're ready, that did you get a satisfied answer for that? Yes. All right, okay, here, here you go. All right, this is her question. Mark, what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done while having sex? What was it? Explain what happened. Oh, that's good. Wow. The <laughs> most good. embarrassing? Oh, my God. The other question was whack, so you should thank me. <laughs> yes. Really? I promise. Really? Yeah, oh, this so is whack. the better of the two? Oh, absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. What is? What was it? You're under the gun. I, I'll put the plead right over here if you want to use it. I feel like I would need more time because nothing is sticking out in my head, but let me, I'll admit something. It You've didn't, never, nothing embarrassing has ever happened to you tell the truth. Okay, I mean, this is a quick, easy one. Like, sure, you just finish really quick. I mean, like, it's happened. Because, you know, there's a little beforehand, and, you know, you literally there's been like a 20, 30 second round. That's happened. Really? <laughs> but, I mean, I'm being honest. Like, Wait, has it happened I mean, to you was before? That, was that yes. 20, 20, 20 seconds? I'm not it's saying happened. it's consistent, but there's just those, sometimes those girls, like, just boom, because yeah. the buildup, you're with them all day, and you're just, you're focused, 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 and then man now, just let me ask apart. you this. Has there ever been a moment where you just decided to do the something about Mary thing and just, like, unchambered the gun? Like thing before you like get involved because I mean if you just bow bow you know what I'm well saying? that like, doesn't happen all the time but like, hey, um, girl let me unzip your bow bow oh damn no I'm I've never had the opportunity to you know <laughs> empty the chamber close enough to the act in order for it to benefit me because I've always I been, thought you were supposed to empty the chamber oh never mind. like a couple hours prior I mean yeah, I feel like, like a couple like hours you like refill an man hour prior or something I don't know I got them hormones dude I'm refilled probably after like twenty minutes so. wow. <laughs> but but here let me wow. I, I want to tell you guys this because I don't mind. What really happened to me, <laughs> um, there was a time that, <sighs> this is bad, but this is good. This is perfect. So I accidentally, we were out one night in a hot tub, um, drinking heavily, like a lot of beer. Definitely peed in the bed. <laughs> that 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 is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. But I, I did it like during my sleep because I thought I was I was having a dream. <laughs> you thought she was in the hot and tub. I had I had to wake up and then wake the girl up and be like, "Yo, you need to move because this." You'll just never happened. guess what just happened. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But that was the most embarrassing thing. It is your freak show, Wild ninety four one Bay's party station. We're getting a lot of texts right now. Plus, people remember the uh, the the question that yes. I didn't ask, and so that's been asked like a lot. I know. That. I was hoping people would forget. Oh that. my God! Like yeah. they remembered way better than I did. All right, we got five questions from the audience. Eight 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 four two nine zero ninety four one. Mini Donut Factory text line is open. You can get yours in and ask Mark. He still has one plea that he can use. So you want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. It says, this is after 813. It says, strictly under dating circumstances, what is the worst lie you ever told someone to get out of a date? Whew. Ooh. A lie to get out of a date. There's wow. been so many. Man, do you answer his questions in your head? Yes. Yeah. I oh, do. Yeah. I, man, because I'm sitting here like, you ass. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm mad at myself now. That's terrible. I think I've used... Ah, this is bad because it's putting it out into the universe too. I think I've used. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, oh, God, God. I think I've used. I was supposed to spend like a weekend with a chick one time, and I think I used like a family member, like an extended family member, like one not close, passed away, and oh. I needed to go out of town. 
Damn. But, I, you know, I needed to get out of, like, a three-day situation. So you can't... Couldn't be a car accident, bro. Like, I, I, it was a death. It was like a death of, like, a third cousin. But I'm like, yo, I need to go. So that's what I've done. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Nah, man. It's all good. I need some holy water. No, nah, man. You're all good. Uh, a lot of people are asking um, the question that he didn't answer <laughs> last week. And I'm talking about 20 different people are like, hey, man... The STD question. Mm. Orlando, it's the STD question that Davi answered last week. The question, has he ever had any te- uh, sexually transmitted disease? Orlando, ask about... I mean, I'm literally reading these in different ones. So, Mark, have you ever had a sexually transmitted disease? I would use my plead the fifth, but it's already been said before, I think, in the room. Um, I have had one. And the reason why I'll tell you about it is because it is the most curable, and it's <laughs> not a big deal to get. To be real, it's just like catching a cold. Um, I had chlamydia many, many, many years ago, and yeah, like I went to the doctor. They give you, I think I took five tiny little pills, cleaned you out. It's like an infection, and then you go back in to get retested, and then I was clean. So yeah, I've had one. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. But it was that was many years ago when I was, you know... Out in my prime. Out in your prime. Yeah. There you go. I got a good one right here. Right. Which I don't have anymore, by the way. He does not. We're clean. There you go. So, and you got three more questions left, and you have not used your plea. This one's kind of deep, Mark. It says, my name is Charles. Who is the sexual partner that Mark compares the rest of his sexual partners back to? We all have that one best experience. Who's is Mark? Oh, that's a good question, Charles. Damn, Charles, boy. <laughs> Charles just earned, like, the golden <laughs> microphone right there. Wow. Oh, that's tough because one of them lives here. It's between two. It has to be one, man. Have to Stop say straddling the fences. Who is the best? Who's the Jordan? Say a name. Not who's the LeBron. Hey. Who's the Jordan? Say a name. I think I might plead the fifth. Oh. I'm going to have to use my fifth Are right here. Are you serious? Here. And you know why? Because I'm going to protect the person that lives here. Okay. I can't what? I can't throw them out like that under the bus or, you know, they, they're they not expecting it. And I just don't want to say it because we got a lot of people listening, man. She's yeah. probably listening right now, too. So Does she know, Does she's she know her? that she's her? I don't know if she knows it's her. But Are you trying to use this as one of your single guy tricks? Like, don't say a name, but every girl's going to be like, you was talking about me, wasn't you? Look, I got to plead the fifth on this. I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. Okay. All right. Um. So you got two more to answer. All right. Two more. Two um, more. I got one lined up. You got one? Okay. Yeah, got go, go for it. it. Says question for Mark. Have you ever let a chick play around in the back door area no. during sexy time? I promise you I have not ever. <laughs> Just play around. She said around. She said play around. around. I never. Around never. And, around and, she and I'll tell you, it was, it was like offered or discussed and I was like no we don't play in the backyard we just do the front yard man gotta <laughs> gotta stay out in the safe, I, safe th- zone th- that discussion really yeah I mean it's come up cause that like it's come up but I no never oh, uh-uh. okay I, right. I just I'm not comfortable with that just not can't do it um and uh I guess to round out the uh <laughs> mark questions Ugh. the last one that you have to answer this makes me look at all of the questions differently now when because now knowing one. you have to answer it, I, mean, I got to scroll back through again. Uh, wow. <laughs> Somebody did just say it takes a man to, to admit that he had a dirty D <laughs> at least one time. Uh, but it's good now. Like, I don't think it was a big deal. Like, you, it was curable. It's like, it's just an infection. People are agreeing with you about the 20-second thing. It is so true. Yep. It's happening uh, to the right. best of us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, let's see here. Wow. Mm, I don't even think we can answer that one. Wow. You're scaring me. Ask it. Okay. I mean, man, because somebody, 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 I mean, somebody, mentioned, somebody, me- somebody mentioned Aunt Margaret, and that just tugs on my heart. So I it's mean, like, man, I wanted to make sure I mentioned her, but but I only got one more left because uh, Davi took two. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, You're scaring me. Mark, what is the kinkiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? You do kind of seem like a vanilla 
type of lead, like a vanilla wafer. Yeah, you don't seem like you go too hard. Like, I could tell you his. Because <laughs> he came back and game taped it for us. And we were like, what? <laughs> you did what? Yeah, he was sorry he told us because we look at him strange still. I don't know how to answer that question. You have to. Because where, where's the bar at? Where? Like, where? where's the level of kinky? Like, where? <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to say? Like, what? In your experience, yeah. what was the highest one for you? Like, what was the what, what that you stepped outside of your comfort zone? Maybe we should put it that way. Okay, like, like that. That okay. Um, I, I mean, had you do know what kinky means. Don't be trying to downplay the question so you can answer something else. I'm not. I can't like give details all the way. That's why I wasn't gonna pick it because you can't really go too crazy. You got to use the let's creative just say, words. Let's say that I was forced to. Like do role playing and play a role that I was not what feel. Role? That's, that's that's part of the question. No, no that's part, oh, of, the that's question. part of the question. That's, that's part of the look, question. I'm telling you, the kinky is I've had to do is role playing. What did you? What did you? What would you do? You as a brawny man? It was Zorro. It was Zorro. Zorro. No, it was it was role playing. You're like that's I say I, I say, say I say I'm fog <laughs> on. I say where were you? Where were you? Tell us where were you? You gotta tell us. I can only say the role playing. Well, no, you, you got to tell us what you I, That's part of it. You know, you know, it's a narrative type of question, like who was it and why. So, I mean, what was it? <sighs> this it's embarrassing. I was Good. can I trade out my plea the fifth? No, no, you can't trade it. Nuh-uh. No, I had to be. Oh, uh, this is bro- a construction worker. <laughs> 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 so let's just end this. We're good. Questions done. <laughs> Wait, you was a construction yeah, I mean, worker? look, man, I Both just told you guys. Did you have like a button up shirt on? No, like, yeah, hard hat yeah, on. I, had a, I had a flannel and a song. <laughs> uh, yeah. hey, man, I'm here to cut some wood. <laughs> I need so some wood. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you need some help with your pipe. <laughs>